Installing the Kohler Air Intelligent Toilet This animation is intended as a supplement. Refer to the Installation and Care Guide for important safety information, required tools, and detailed installation instructions. For the installation, you will need the following tools and materials. 3 8 inch supply stop, wax ring, T-bolts, caulk gun with caulk, drill with a quarter inch bit and a 3 16 inch bit, pencil, measuring tape, Phillips in flat blade screwdriver, socket wrench with a half inch deep socket, putty knife, rags, bucket, towel, and safety glasses. Warning! Risk of electric shock. Disconnect the power before servicing. Connect only to a dedicated circuit protected by a ground fault circuit interrupter, GFCI, which protects against line-to-ground shock hazard. Do not remove the grounding pin or use a grounding adapter. Follow all local plumbing and building codes. If the new toilet will not be installed immediately, temporarily insert a rag in the floor flange to prevent gases from escaping into the room. Do not install any items behind the toilet that will interfere with the cover when it is raised. This toilet requires a 12-inch minimum rough-in distance from the wall to the center of the floor flange. Use a putty knife to remove the old wax ring from the floor flange. With a pencil, Mark the center lines of the floor flange on the floor. This toilet can be installed so the electrical and water supplies are hidden behind the toilet or by utilizing a standard supply stop and electrical outlet. For a standard plug-in installation, install or relocate the water supply stop 5.5 to 8 inches to the left of the center line mark and 3 to 6 inches above the finished floor. Install a GFCI protected electrical outlet 3 to 6 inches to the right of the center line mark and 5 to 7 inches above the finished floor. This video will focus on the hidden hardwired installation. For this type of installation, install or relocate the water supply stop 4 and 3 quarters inches to the left of the center line mark and 5 and 15 16 inches above the finished floor. The supply stop should not extend more than two and a half inches from the face of the finished wall. Route the electrical wires using UL listed flexible conduit from the junction box through a hole that is three and fifteen sixteenths inches to the right of the center line mark and ten and one sixteenth inches above the finished floor. The following instructions are for removing the power cord to allow for hardwired installations. For plug in installations, these steps can be skipped. Remove the access panels from the toilet. Remove the two screws and remove the electrical access panel. Remove the four screws and remove the electrical connections cover. Disconnect the line, black, neutral, white, and ground green wires from the connections. Remove the two screws and remove the cord retainer. Remove the cord from the toilet. Retain all screws and panels for reinstallation. Important! Do not install the wax ring until instructed to do so. Install two T-bolts into the floor flange. Position the trapway on the floor flange and T-bolts. Use a pencil to mark the back hole location of the trapway on the floor. Remove the trapway and drill a 3 16 inch pilot hole at the marked location. Press a wax ring into the bottom of the trapway. Fit the trapway over the T-bolts and floor flange. Install a washer and nut to each T-bolt and tighten securely. Install a washer and quarter inch lag bolt in the rear mounting hole and tighten securely. If you have not already done so, remove the access panels from each side of the toilet. With assistance, lift the toilet into position over the trapway. Using the marks you made earlier, center the toilet over the trapway. Mark the two mounting holes on the floor. Remove the toilet. 
Using a 3 16 inch bit, drill a hole at each mark. Move the toilet as close as possible to the wall and feed the electrical wires through the hole in the back of the toilet and into the electrical connection box. Then lower the toilet into place over the trapway. Ensure the toilet is still properly centered, then secure the toilet to the floor with a quarter inch lag bolt and washer in each hole. Connect the water supply to the toilet. Using a suitable strain relief, connect the line, neutral, and ground wires to the electrical connections of the toilet. Install the electrical connection cover with the four screws. Install the electrical panel cover with the two screws. Turn on electricity to the circuit. To complete the plug-in connection of the toilet, simply plug the toilet into the outlet. For all installations, open the water supply and check connections for leaks. Press the power switch to turn on the toilet. The toilet will complete a startup cycle. To confirm proper operation of the toilet, press the flush button located on the front of the toilet. If the toilet is not functioning properly, refer to the troubleshooting table in the homeowner's guide. Apply a bead of 100% silicone sealant around the base of the toilet. Allow the sealant to cure according to the manufacturer's instructions. Install the access covers. Determine the desired location for the remote controlled docking station. Position the mounting bracket at the desired location, then mark the location of the screw holes. Using a quarter inch bit, drill holes at each of the marked screw locations. If drilling into tile, use the appropriate drill bit to avoid damaging the finished wall. Install an anchor into each of the holes. Using the two supplied screws, attach the mounting bracket to the wall. Install the batteries in the docking station. Position the docking station over the mounting bracket. Firmly press down on the docking station to seat it onto the mounting bracket. Place the remote control onto the docking station. The remote control comes paired with the toilet. For instructions on remote control operation, refer to the homeowner's guide packed with your product.